Okay, hopefully you can see the effect. Now, when I look at it, it's as so often happens with watercolor, it's dried. And this area here, I've not really got the effect of it being dark underneath as much as I want. Okay. Now, when I demonstrated it on Tuesday, I just rushed off, I rushed and removed the masking fluid. But really, this is a chance where I, I can reapply some paint there. Um, I'm going to do that now. Now, this time I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm just going to wet underneath here. I don't want to do the bit above. I'm quite happy with the bit above. I'm just going to wet the bit below. So very carefully again, I'm going to wet. In fact, I'm going to use the spray diffuser. It'll be quicker for me. So just a bit under the wave. I'm just wetting that bit under the wave. I'm just going to spread some of that paint. I'm just trying to maintain the without. I don't want to get lines forming. Where I, just up to that that edge there and underneath. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm trying to be very gentle. And now I'm going to come in again, and I just want to try to get the way that it is dark underneath. So I'm just going to make this colour a bit stronger now. And here it is. I'm just coming in and dropping these dark bits under here. Hopefully you can see I've really ma it's much better now. I'm getting that effect. It'll probably still dry too light when I do it, but anyway. And it's going to create that lovely feeling of it. on that edge. Now you might not be able to see it from there but I can see a run back forming because this bit here isn't damp enough. That can be fixed I think, I hope. I'm going to just before it forms I'm just going to just spray a little bit of water on that area there. There we go and that should solve that problem. Right. I've not done much work showing you the spray diffuser, but you can see it can be quite handy. I'm just going to come in with a darker bit here too, and a bit there. I think, probably haven't, but I think I've got it dark enough, maybe a bit darker just here. It's a really dark bit here where the wave is folding over. Right, that's it. I'm going to dry that off. Right, hi, I've um, dried that off. It's still maybe not quite dark enough. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it for the moment. I just want to show you the next stage, which is peeling off the masking fluid. Okay. Keep rubbing. I still need to come in and paint the sky and more details underneath here. I also actually need to do a little bit more work in the splash to make that more believable. But I think it's a rather nice effect. I'm just going to try and zoom in on the camera and you can see that effect a bit more in a bit more detail. Hopefully you can see it's got a rather lovely effect. The effect I wanted to get was we've got soft blurry splashes which is created by the salt and we also have nice clean hard white crisp droplets um, created by the masking fluid. The combination of the soft and hard is giving a really nice effect but it still needs more work and then we'll do the work underneath. Great, step four coming soon.